Eye-opening report found most students in Illinois cannot grasp basic math, but there are things parents can do at home to help kids quickly master the subject. Here to talk about specific gaps and learning tricks is Mackenzie Price. She is the founder of GT School. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Excited to be here. Hey, good to have you. Before we get into the solutions, let's talk about the problem. Why are so many kids struggling uh, with math right now? You know, the reports that have come out in the Chicago area have just been abysmal, but I will tell you, it's not just happening in Chicago. We're mm. seeing this all around the country. The pandemic really crushed our kids in terms of learning. It was just not a great time for them. In addition to just the social and emotional issues that have come, our learning stuff has just hit a wall and it's really hard for teachers and schools to catch up not only catch up but they got to keep kids going on the path um, so we're just seeing really tough rates um, and as a parent it stresses me out it makes me want to wake up every day and figure out what can we do we're busy we're working full-time jobs our kids are busy but there are ways to help our kids out and uh, that's what we do at gt school and something that parents can do at home so let's talk about the ways uh, the parents can help their kids out. Uh, there's apps they can use, uh, and I know you have some learning tricks as well. Yeah, so adaptive learning apps are this unbelievable thing that technology has enabled us to take advantage of. These apps are free in a lot of cases. They can be very inexpensive, like $10 a month. They cover such a wide variety of subjects. And so if we're talking about math specifically, there are great apps for kids as little as like three, four, five years old, all the way up to doing more advanced math stuff, you know, physics and, um, you know, algebra two and calculus, those types of things. Mm -hmm. These apps are an incredible tool that schools should be taking advantage of at, at, you know, in order to help their kids learn and that we as families can incorporate into our kids' learning. And we see incredible results. Our kids who use GT School, which is just an online supplemental program. It's not meant to replace school. It's something that kids can do in their spare time. We saw last summer, we had kids that were learning anywhere between three and 10 times the national learning rate. Hmm. So these apps are a great way for kids to um, just catch up fill in any holes in their learning that they may not be super strong on, you could probably relate. If you don't know fractions really well, it's gonna be hard to do algebra. If you don't have you know, your multiplication table done very well, it's gonna be hard to do fractions. Mm -hmm. So we try to help kids and these adaptive apps are great because they're, they're even better than having a tutor. They are one-on-one, -on -one, very interactive, uh, almost gamified types of apps okay. that help kids kind of learn at their pace. And they're such an awesome tool that we really want uh, kids to be able to use to supercharge their learning. And a lot of them are free and, as you said, very easy to use. Uh, how can parents keep their children excited about math? Because once it gets tough, no, no one wants to do it. So any tips for that? Yeah, that's a really common issue that we hear about is kids lose confidence in math. When, mm -hmm. when math gets hard, then suddenly they think, I'm not a great math student, I'm not good. And one of the things we find, again, is that if kids can understand some of the more basic concepts in math, it helps them say, oh, wow, I actually get this. And it makes their, their later classes go a lot easier. Some of the things we do, we do a lot of work with test prep. Um, for students, and we'll find that if you take, let's say, an 11th grader who's getting ready to take their SAT, they go back and revisit some fifth or sixth or seventh grade concepts, and all of a sudden, that hard math they're doing as a junior makes a lot more sense. So we've seen this as huge for confidence building and helping kids kind of realize, you know what? I'm not bad at math. Anybody can be good at math, and I know there's a lot of parents out there who say, is that true? And I'm telling you, <laughs> You absolutely can be good at math. Um, there's just uh, the idea of kind of setting up those building blocks in a way, and that's where apps are such a great tool to do it. And I'm not talking about a lot of time. You can take 30 minutes, five days a week. And again, I understand as a parent, I've got two teenage girls who are like, I'm busy, I'm doing this. But putting in that little bit of extra time now can really catapult, catapult what their uh, learning knowledge is. And guess what? Classrooms benefit, teachers benefit the school system benefits as a result of helping these kids catch up. Absolutely. A little bit goes a long way. Mackenzie Price, the founder of GT School, appreciate you joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. Have a great day, Chicago.